<laughs> Hello, Mina's beautiful people. Actually, our beautiful people. Uh -huh. um, in honor of Father's Day, I have a command performance to uh, to command make some art for you. Command performance. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I um, asked you if you would like to. Your, fi your fingerprints are all over my back over here. All right, all right, all right. Let's so. get going here. here anyway, uh, I'm a heck of a lot more comfortable on that side of the camera, but uh, I'm going to do my best and. Uh, work, work with me here. Um, what I'd like to do is I would like to do a resin pour into this mold or this beautiful Hanu, also known as a turtle, sea turtle. It's this beautiful mold. You can get these molds at fluid-art.co, <laughs> Fluid Art Co. That one actually didn't come from Fluid Art Co, but they do have several molds that are oh, okay. awesome molds too. That okay. one's from Amazon. Okay. They also have awesome molds, and uh, also this really cool silicone uh, pad to keep the stuff, paint and stuff from sticking to your table. I'm going to be using piggies. Oh, dun, 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 oh. <laughs> my favorite pigments, my favorite pigments. Um, I'm also going to use a brand new color inspired by uh, Mina called Echeveria because she is such a succulent queen. I'm also going to be using this piggy called asparagus okay and another piggy called lily pad okay very nice <laughs> um, and we're also going to be using some pigments that Mina got off of Amazon these are called let's resin intense chameleon powder tonight we are using art resin this is a two-part you mix it up equal parts and then you have a certain amount of time and then it hardens and it hardens completely in about 24 hours cures but cures right in about 24 hours right um you can also get this fluid-art.co <laughs> okay so hoa how did you figure out how much resin you're gonna need for your turtle there very good question what i did was i took some water and i poured it into the mold to the level that i wanted and then we poured it back into this cup, whatever amount that was in there, we pour it back into this cup, and that shows four ounces. So it's going to take four ounces to fill this mold the way that we want it. So I'm going to need two ounces of the resin and two ounces of the hardener, and you mix them up. You have to stir it for three minutes without stopping, completely stirring. And then we can also add some pigment into the resin to color the pigment as well. But the pigment that's down inside the mold will take precedence because it's at the bottom of the molds. When you take it out, it'll be on top. So... I think this is going to be really, really cool. What are we going to do first, HOA? I'm going to use a brush and... Okay, can I, can I make some suggestions to you? Sure. Okay, so since you're working with resin, you always want to have some baby wipes available to you. Oh, should sure. I be you wearing baby... a mask? No. Do you have your baby wipes? Yes. There you go. These wipes are your friend. Art resin actually is one of the few resins that you don't need to wear protective equipment with because it's supposed to be non-toxic and for artists like us to be able to use easily without having to wear a mask. Okay. So that's one of the nice things about art resin specifically. Um, it's also very easy to use. Okay. So uh, I would suggest that you get a baby wipe or two out and have them handy. They're right there in the yellow. I know team. why just in case because you never know now just unscrew the top and take them off just to have handy because once you have resin all over your hands you don't want to be touching a bunch of stuff so you want to have a few of those out and ready to use and then i would also recommend that you have your pigments uh, in front of you and the jars open now some people when they are using resin they like to double glove in case uh, one glove gets really, really dirty, they don't have to worry about changing their gloves. They can just take off the dirty one. If you wanted to do that, there are more gloves over there. For this project, it's pretty small, though. I don't think you're going to get too dirty. Okay. Um, yeah. So the choices we have of the Let's Resin Chameleon Powder, I have gold. I have fairy green, which I'm definitely going to use. Uh, other colors that we have to choose from, there's a blue, there's a maple, there's a black cherry. Ooh, maybe I'll use that one. And 
and deep blue and dark magenta cyan green that one looks very color shifty yeah i think you mm. should use that one too uh, blue and fuchsia okay all right so i'm going to use this brush to transfer the pigments into the mold okay so the first thing i'm going to do is paint or deposit the, the pigments into these grooves are you going to pack them full or is it just lightly coloring it no i don't need to pack them just the light dusting will right. do the trick okay so this turtle has a lot of really cool tribal designs so what I want to do is I want to put some really cool colors down into those grooves so that when it comes demolded, that those colors are going to stick up. Okay, we're ready to go. I've got everything opened out in front of me so I don't have to fumble with it while I'm working. So, are you ready, wife of awesomeness? Yes, husband of awesomeness, I am. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with this gold color. Okay, easy there, not like a lot. Can you actually tip it towards me while you paint it in there? Yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. So I'm going to put some of this drip down into these grooves. I think kind of like spread it around with the paintbrush. You don't want it to like clump or anything like that. We don't want to see powder, in other words. So it turns out they need very little, very little very interesting it's like painting but it's also dry are you gonna do that whole thing in that color no just that part okay I originally was going to do this very simple and oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. baby that wipes are your baby wipes are your friend fumble flag <laughs> on the play for real. <laughs> Art foul. <laughs> Maybe you should use some of that pigment instead of wiping it all up. Just dip your brush in there. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get the uh, the pigment off of here so I don't contaminate the next jar. Uh, this, this pigment is called maple. I'm gonna do some here. You can combine, you could put some of that maple on top of some of the areas that have the gold, but like in the empty spots. That's what you're saying. I'm gonna go with some black cherry now. Ooh. Are you trying to make this a hot rod turtle? <laughs> uh, I found out. <laughs> Anybody out there make silicone molds for resin? If you do, message me. <laughs> Especially if you make hot rod. You might need to make a turtle with some hot rod flames for HOA. <laughs> Is it fun? Yeah. Sure. Are you enjoying yourself? I actually am. Yeah, I really do. Oh, good. So glad. Interesting thing about this is that you don't think that it's going to take much time at all, but actually, it does take a little bit of time when you're being careful. It takes time to do it right. Yeah. So which one of those colors is giving you the most saturation, do you think? Uh, the gold is very good, and the maple. Okay. They're both really good. Did you use, use the black cherry too? Yeah. Mm, that was pretty. Black cherry is, down, is over here, mm -hmm. and in the center here. Okay. What's this one? That's the gold. That's the gold. This one is very green. That'd probably be a good one to yeah. as a filler. So what, what I want to do is I want to use the fairy green on the on the top parts of these.
so. If there's colors you're not going to use, I would go ahead at this point and put the lids back on. Okay. okay. All right, so I got some. Now, now I get to the good stuff. Now I get to the piggies. And what I want to do now is I want to paint the sides of this with uh, with some pigment and color. And then we're also going to mix some color into the resin itself, which should do some interesting things. So now I have the pigment twinkle. And I'm gonna brush that up on the sides. Because it's very subtle. Whoops. is what I've ended up with. Okay, very cool. Okay. So now we're gonna mix up the resin. Okay. Let's put this in a safe place over there. All right. So you have Let me get my cups. two cups. I have two cups. Please. I need four ounces total. Right. So I'm gonna put two into this cup and two into this cup. That's for this project. However, Nina wants to use some for something else, so I'm actually going to mix up a bit more. How much more do you think? Just put three and three. Three and three? Okay. Yeah. So Cups are by TCP. What is that? That's a stopper. It's a plug? Yes. To make sure that it doesn't spill out un unwantedly. Put that on the black silicone, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, now you have sticky stuff on your hands. Be careful what you touch. Definitely wear gloves when you do this. And I also don't <coughs> want the, can you still see that? Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for three ounces. Wait, that, 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 that slide. A little more. I can't actually see the numbers, so. Make sure you pour the same amount of hardener. Okay, so it's I'll put the plug back in. All right, so I want to make sure I don't touch anything for this one with this hand. to each other. Should I tint it? When should I tint it? No, first you have to mix them together. Okay. So now you're going to take one of those stir sticks. You're going to pour all of one into all into the other one. Just pour them back and forth for a while. No, no. Just pour them into one cup, and then you're going to stir it for three minutes. Okay. So now he's going to add one to the other, 
And then we're going to use those wooden stir sticks on the side to scrape it all out of that big cup. And then we're going to use that to start stirring. And we're going to stir for three minutes exactly. And I'll tell you when to start. You have 13 seconds to finish doing that. Try not to drip it on the table. Okay, four, three, two, start stirring. Here we go. We're going to stir for three minutes straight. Slowly, trying not to make bubbles. Just moving it around. You see how it got cloudy and there's bubbles in there? That's okay. You want to stir it until it's not really cloudy anymore. And the Art Resin website says to stir it until it's not cloudy for three minutes total. You want to make sure that you're combining both of those two ingredients. Two and a half minutes left to go. There are bubbles in this. Um, one of the things that I've seen on other people who do resin pours is they'll have a vacuum chamber. Yeah. And you cool. can get a you can get an inexpensive vacuum chamber uh, at Harbor Freight. Okay. Um, I'm gonna interrupt you because you got 40 seconds left. So after this 40 seconds is up, you're gonna need to decide what you're gonna do fairly quickly. So if you want to put some of that aside into smaller cups to put color in. Okay, okay, give it one more side scrape, one more stick scrape, and we're done. Okay, so now that's all mixed up. So he's gonna pour a little bit of this into a separate cup for me to use. So you wanna put some, so this is gonna be yours? No, no, you can, that's whatever you want. Just pour some in there and then pour some in the other one too. Okay, so now set that aside. You can put that mixture into those two and make whatever colors you want. You gotta work kind of quickly though, because you don't have a lot of time. Okay, if you're not gonna, you want to use all of it, so. I know I'm gonna actually use a different color in this. Okay, that's fine. Move that front one. Okay, so I'm going to those are the little fluid art stick. There we go. Okay. And you're gonna use Echeveria, huh? Yep. Okay. You can always add more, right? Okay. Okay. So about this much. Okay. Okay, just pop the stir in there. There you go. Stir it up pretty good. Incorporate all the pigment in with the resin. Okay, do the next one. Okay. Next one is asparagus. Can you show it to me before you open it? Show me the bottom. Okay, there we go. That's probably what, an eighth of a teaspoon? I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I think those are actually going to be very turtly colors together. That one in particular, asparagus, looks quite turtly. Look at here, Baxter about howling, mm -hmm. and the girls howling with him. We all tend to howl as a pack. Okay. And what color are you going to do, lily pad? Yeah. Okay. Where is the lily pad? It's back there. Here. Okay. Show it to me. This okay, is really bottom. bad. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, 
So now I have my three colors. So you want I'm to make bring, sure. I'm going to bring Mr. Crush over here. You want to make sure that you're working on a level surface when you're working with resin, and you yes. want to make sure you're going to work someplace that you can leave it there and not have to move it. I want to do the equivariate first. Okay. This is prime color. Mixes up a little bit. Okay. All right, then. And finally, the asparagus. I love that color. This is going to look dynamite. I agree. I think it's going to be really, really cool. So should I put uh, go through it to mix it up a little bit more or no? Well, what I would do is if you reach up there, you see how there's a skewer sticking up right there? Up high. Near the microphone. Up, 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 up. To so my towards me. Yeah. So I would take that skewer and if you want to mix anything up, go ahead. But I would just kind of make sure go around the perimeter and make sure that the resin is all touching the mold, that there's no like air bubbles like at the corners, yeah, no, where there might be any pockets or anything. And if you want to make any kind of design or anything, swirl it, you can. But I wouldn't mix it up too much, just kind of go around the perimeter with the point along the edge and make sure there's no air bubbles in there. All right, Mr. Uguay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, this is that. Um, this was a lot of fun. I uh, <laughs> learned a lot. <laughs> and hopefully, we're going to make a beautiful turtle. Groovy, baby. Well, here we go. Look at that. Bling, bling. Bing, bing, bing. The piggies look awesome. The other shifty ones are really cool. The Let's Resin pigments, yeah. The Let's Resin, yep. The Let's Resin. Okay, tilt it like toward the... I'm just trying to see the shiftiness. That's way cool. Good job, honey. Thanks. Happy Father's Day, my love. Thank you. Ooh, look at the pretty part. The That's back the cool. Echeveria and the asparagus in there. And the lily pad, too. Very cool. Yep. Neat stuff. Hanu! Hanu! Good job. Hanu is Hawaiian for sea turtle. <laughs> Say happy Father's happy Day, everybody. Turtles. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, too, Thank HOA. You, Thank you for being such a good sport and going with the flow. Thank you, thank you. That's what the turtles taught me in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He's being a
Is that cool? Good job, HOA.